Today, I'd like to go over how to set up and calibrate full body tracking on your custom avatars, some of the issues that that can cause and how to correct some of the offsets. So as you can see right now, I've already got full body tracking connected. I have a hip tracker and two feet trackers, as well as index controllers. And what I'm gonna do really quick is calibrate the T-pose. So to do that uh, on the two controllers, the, the same buttons that you use to toggle the main menus, you just press and hold those for three seconds. And that should calibrate the T-pose. If you notice that there's an offset, see I have the tracker on my side, so sometimes that causes me to kind of lean to one side. Correct that by leaning into the uh, kind of the opposite angle, and then when you relax, it'll it should be corrected. I picked this avatar because it does show how it bends at the rib cage. So here you can see clearly that the avatar is bending at the rib cage, not quite like along the spine. One thing that you can do is here under the tracker setup panel, uh, you can select the hip tracker and then open up the offsets. Under the offsets, you'll see this X axis rotation offset adjustment that you can use. So by doing that, you can see now um, it doesn't bend quite as much, it still does a little bit, but I don't know if that will ever go away with this with this avatar. There is one trick actually, if you go to the IK Dynamics, so let's see, turn that down a little bit. And that's that's actually more realistic looking, I think. So depending on what you need your avatar to do, um, you can adjust the dynamics or the offsets and get much better uh, kind of spine IK solving. And it looks pretty good, I think, 